Good morning everyone, Glenda Mollett here. I'm in my craft room and we will be stamping today with the Sea of Textures stamp set and coordinating under the sea framelit dies. My newsletter, my May newsletter went out today. So I'm just going to check on my computer, make sure I'm oriented properly before we get too far into this creation. And I have an aha moment to share with you too that I had this morning. Okay. I don't like how that light is doing weird things. Oops, get this out of the way. Hmm. So I'm having an issue because I have light on there from my blinds and I don't know how I would stop it. So I'm sorry about this. Morning Valerie. Hang on. I just have to answer somebody who is searching for me. I'm just going to send her a link so she can find me. Okay. So, good morning, Valerie. Good morning, Carmen. Who else is there? Carmen, Valerie. Okay, let me check. The bottom is still dark. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Here, let's move the light. Does that any better? I have my blind closed. It's just, it's the holes in between where the, the strings go. I'm in the dark. Yeah, I'm always in the dark. Oh gosh, how am I going to fix that? I need to stand something up. Hang on, let me see if I can rig something. Oh, there's maybe a crash, but don't worry, I'm fine. Okay, that'll work, but it's not high enough. Okay, hang on. I have a couple of stamp sets here. Let me just put this up on the stamp set. Oh, hi, hi Mary. Maria, oh my gosh, could be one of those mornings. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the with the light. So I <laughs> I think the whole thing is caused because Okay, well I'll There, does that make it a bit lighter? Anyways, the issue I think is caused because we just spent the past three days cleaning windows. Not much. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, hang on. Let's move this closer. Angle this differently. Get rid of these. There. Is that any better? that up a bit. There. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Yeah, so spent one whole day removing all the wind, the slidey parts of the windows, cleaning the casings with bleach water. Then the next day I we cleaned all the windows. I have so many windows. Between the windows and the glass and the mirrors in my house, 27 pieces we cleaned. And then the next day, we took all the blinds off and washed all the blinds and put them back up. So there you go. The only issue is 
the light's not diffused coming into my house anymore. It's full on bright. And we haven't cleaned the outside windows yet. Oh. Morning, Jean. Glad you could make it. Okay, we're going to go. So my newsletter went out this morning. Um, if you would like a copy of it, just send me a message with your email address and I will, I'm happy to send it to you. So what I want to show you is my, my May calendar. So the, my newsletter has stuff that's coming soon. Don't forget the retiring lists are coming. If you need in color stuff for these colors, you might want to get it before the 22nd because once April 22nd hits, that's when the retiring list comes out and all of this in color stuff will be gone. And then I have um, a draw for April and I have a, see this, it says month, my birthday ordering special for 24 hours on May the 4th. Free shipping for an order over $60. Okay, but, and then I have updates on things in my classes that are happening. These are all pictures of the cards that we would do, we do. but I want to show you May. Look at May. Usually I have I have a couple of classes, maybe four. Facebook and Zoom and online every day of the week except for that 20, that Wednesday, and this Monday because it's a holiday. So if you want to see me, you can catch me here at 10 o'clock in the morning, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday going to do something like this like we're doing today. Fridays, I'm going to do a drop in on Zoom and we can discuss things. And if you have products that you've never used, um, drop in on my Zoom and I'll give you some ideas on how to use them. So I was watching a video this morning by a friend of mine in the States, Wendy Lee, and she added a piece of, oh, then I put it away. No, I didn't. She added a piece of this lace trim to her project. So let me show you what the lace trim looks like. It's full of holes. You see it? And she put um, fast fuse underneath it. Which the whole time she was doing it, my brain is screaming, no, don't, because your, your adhesive's gonna show through and it's gonna stick to everything. But as I'm watching her, then I had one of those aha moments. You know what you can do with that? So I took some of that lace trim, put it onto a piece of cardstock using tear and tape, and then I pushed it down into the dazzling diamonds glitter. So now you've covered all the adhesive up and look what happens. Look. Look, can you see the bling? It gets in the holes of the lace trim and puts glitter in there. Okay, I was so excited when I figured that out. Uh, Jean, I did not mention it. Yes, it's in my newsletter though. There is, um, clearance rack was updated this morning. Maybe not here, it's in my email. Um, there's, they've added a whole bunch of new product up to 60% off and they even added some Christmas stuff on there. So thanks for reminding me. I don't know. What an aha moment. Okay. So thank you to everybody who placed it and placed it, placed an order by last Sunday, April the 12th. Um, of $75 or more. I will be ordering your Peaceful Poppies elements and sending them off to you. Now that's the from the card we made on the 7th, which was last Tuesday we made that card. And those of you that are faithful video watchers, I'm going to send you a kit too. So I have that. It's all done. Well, not yet. I have to order the stuff. So you'll get your thank you card. You just won't get your elements yet because I need to order them. I will this week. So this is a Sea of Textures stamp set. It has the cutest little octopus on it. And I saw a card by Carolyn King that I really wanted to make. So we're going to do that today. 
and this is the coordinating under the sea dies as well this used to be a bundle but that was two years ago and it's no longer bundled anymore and I don't know whether it's carrying on I won't know until the 22nd of April when the retiring lists come out for the annual and the spring mini catalog okay where to put my kit here we are so what we're using an envelope a Knight of Navy card base that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and folded. A five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White for the inside. A five and one eighths by three and seven eighths piece of crumb cake for one of the layers. And then we're going to die cut this. And we're going to die cut this before we attach it to the card. And then a piece of Whisper White that is four and an eighth by two and five eighths. No, three. Three and five eighths. Hello. Yeah. Yep, three and five eighths. Okay, have to change that on my my recipe or I'm going to really get messed up if I go to make this card again. Three and five eighths. And then a piece of... Um, Knight of Navy, that's two and five eighths by four and an eighth, and a piece of Whisper White to layer on top of that, that is four by two and a half. A piece that is about um, three by three and a quarter to do, to stamp the octopus. A piece of soft sea foam that doesn't have to be that big, it only has to be two by two by two and a half because we're going to stamp this image on it and then die cut and then a piece of um, seaside spray that doesn't need to be anywhere near that big we're going to cut out one or maybe two of those from the dies so there's the recipe I'll just leave it there maybe I'll move it so it's not in my way put it up here now, I've been told that you guys can't see those recipes when they're sitting there, so um, I can put it, give you the recipe afterwards. The ink that we're using is Knight of Navy and Soft Sea Foam. Okay, just cleaning my work area because I can't, I can't think when my work area is dirty. Okay, get my get the comments where I know I can see them and we don't need the card base right now so I'll put it up here that's the inside piece so this piece needs those two things cut out of it so we'll do that first because otherwise I just may forget as you know happens all the time okay so there's two sizes of um, sand dollars I'm going to use this one but I want to make be careful and not lose that little piece that goes in the center there. So you can put a piece of adhesive sheet on the back of this. So you can add your, um, have adhesive already on the, the net. I just want to make sure it's and it didn't. I want to make sure it gets cut properly so I'm just going to flip it over and cut it upside down. Sometimes this old machine I have just doesn't cut properly the first time and it needs a bit of persuasion. There we are. Got it this time. Okay. So that layer is going to go on next. Use the take your pick tool and get rid of all those little pieces that are stuck in there. Oh, I don't like blurry, Maria. Oh, what the heck is going on? Okay, let me just check my settings once I get all these little pieces pushed out.
combination of what, Jean? The colors or what? All right, so this one, I want to make sure that that stays in there. So I'm just going to take a little piece of tear and tape and put it over top so that when I take it out of the die, it doesn't fall apart. Oh, all right. Why? Oh, I bet I know why. Okay, I have to clean the camera. So I'm going to have to... Phew, no, it's not your eyes. Let me clean the camera. Hang on. I'm sorry. There, is that better? Sometimes I completely forget about the fact that that camera needs to um, be cleaned. <laughs> Until somebody says, man, that's blurry. Or we end up with, um, I end up looking and seeing that it really is not the best thing in the world. I hope it works better. Okay. So we got those two elements. I'm going to sit them, those off to the side. This one, we're going to just do one of these. I'm just going to cut one of those. And then we're going to stamp on here in... Oh! <laughs> Note to self. Make sure you clean the camera before you go live. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies. Just one of those days, you know, just... One of those days. Okay, so I've stamped that image in soft sea foam right on soft sea foam cardstock. And now I'm going to. There we are. I'm going to die cut it. And I'm going to die cut one of those. Yeah, it probably doesn't help any either that I. My hands are always full of um, hand lotion right now because they're getting so dry with all the cleaning I am having to do. And then I touch my phone and yeah, the rest is history. You know how it works. Uh-oh, there's the phone. Oh well, hubby will get it. It's not for me. I'm on. I'm on live with my peeps. Okay, got that. Okay, he's not getting it, so just ignore that. All right. Okay, so now we need to take this piece that's going to layer over top of this piece and do some stamping. So I need my, my dirty paper. Yeah, I'm a laughing. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. So apparently, we're also going to use crumb cake ink, which I forgot to get out. But it's okay because it's just right behind me. So crumb cake and this image from the stamp set. Now, make sure I'm... <laughs> Thanks, Jean. Oh, it's... I always have so much fun in here when I'm doing these daily things. So I'm going to stamp around the edge of this and I want to go right to the very edge. So that's why I got my dirty paper. And then I'm going to go back and fill in any gaps like up there. So maybe I should show you that piece of ribbon again because did you get to see it? Because it was so blurry. Here's, okay, let me show you that ribbon again. You see? Do you see the, bl the bling in there? 
And I did it on black because I knew it would show up really well. So now I'm going to be using that in a card at some point. Yay! Okay, so now this one can layer onto that like that. I love having peeps. It's fun. Our um, middle grandson said, well, all three grandchildren, when when the isolation and distancing started, they all, they, all three of them set up the kids' um, messenger app so that we could video with them and chat. And the middle one sent us a, a thing the other day. He set up, he set up, a messenger group with his his mom and dad and uncle and uncles and um, grandma and grandpa and he hadn't named it so I stuck a name in there of Cameron's peeps he thought that was kind of cool it's really this is that's the worst part about this social distancing and isolation and stuff. It's not being able to see the grandchildren. We've already had 40 years with our children. So that's not the issue. The issue is that we haven't had a lot of time with our grandchildren. And our northern son and his wife are expecting their second baby in June. Who knows when we will be able to go up and see them. Okay. So there we are, and I'm going to get rid of the dirty paper because we don't need it right now. Now this goes on top of here, but I just want to see if maybe we want to put some um, linen twine around the bottom. So I'm not going to stick it on there yet. Then we need this piece and Knight of Navy. And the the octopus image. Apparently there's glitter all over my ink pad. I wonder where that came from. I want to get good inkage so I'm making sure I get lots and lots of ink on there because I want him to be really a dark color. Okay, we'll stamp that. Okay, that didn't come out very dark. Okay. Get another piece. There we are. I'm going to clean it and then I'm going to try something else. I want to show you guys a trick. Okay, so this is Versamark ink need to dry it first. This is Versamark ink. And if you put a layer of Versamark on an image that you want to have nice solid color with, before you put the color on, it helps the color stink, stick to the stamp a little bit better. So we'll see if this is going to make any difference. I do this every once in a while with photopolymer stamps. I haven't tried it with lately with a rubber stamp okay and you don't get versamark on your ink pad it doesn't transfer it stays on to the stamp but then it is hard a little harder to clean your stamp um, for the rubber stamps when I use versamark I always clean with the stays on cleaner because that gets it all off and then I wash it with soap and water afterwards whoa that's a little better Want to see the difference? Look at the difference in the two of them. Still have a few bubbles where there shouldn't be bubbles. But, say la vie! It is what it is, and we're going to go with it. And we're going to die cut this one out. Yeah, so part of my spring cleaning is done now, with all my windows done. 
now we have we want to um, we have a closet a storage closet that has not been cleaned out since the day we moved in here and we've been in this house 13 years now so it definitely needs to have some TLC okay so I think that's it for the elements I need to stamp the sentiment and I chose to use just a note um, this stamp set has a couple of sentiments but I didn't want to use them I want to use because I've been sending out a lot of hi there how are you doing cards so just a note is the perfect sentiment for that now if when you're stamping on stuff like this if you're worried about getting it straight just stuck it in there crooked nobody is going to know that you were avoiding the issue see now it, you did that on purpose okay so this one will layer onto here and then this will layer onto here and that will layer onto there just like that well centered of course and then the way the card was made this goes on here this goes on here oh we need another one of these I only did one and there's apparently there's two in that card and I don't think one's going to be enough this will go slide down in behind there and then we'll put this down there how do you like that I'm going to do another one of those what do you think what you think? Oh, yes, cleaning your blocks. Oh, you think they're clean till you clean them. Then you realize that they weren't clean at all. So I can show you, I don't think I've done that, at least for a while, to show you how to clean your blocks. I'll do that before we're done today. There we are. So I have to tell you, I've finally found a website where we can watch uh, TV shows series because we haven't had TV TV like the subscription TV for a few years probably three now we watch what we watch we stream and then we watch Netflix there we are and I actually think you own it? Woohoo! All right, so we can start putting it together. Anyways, so back to the the TV show. There's a TV show that is filmed not far from where I live on Vancouver Island at a place called Parksville. They sh film it in Parksville and Nanus Bay and Nanaimo and surrounding areas. So I've always wanted to watch this show, but it's never been on a, um, a channel that I can that we can stream. So I've found this one now that I can stream these shows. Like Chicago, all the Chicago's they're not they're only streamed in the states. They're because NBC doesn't stream in Canada. So I've been able to watch those and Outlander. Oh my gosh, if you watch Outlander. Ain't that an awesome series? If not, why not? I love Outlander. And the books. I read the book, read the books four times now. But anyways, so Chesapeake Shores is the show that I wanted to watch and finally found how to watch it. So I've been binging it. Ah. It's crooked. Um, I've been binge watching it and it's really, really a good show. I love it. 
And what's even cooler is I know a lot of the places that they, they're filming at. They film, um, what's his name? Chase? Trace. Trace. Trace's house is on the edge of the water. And when he's working outside, they have this background of a marina. And it's the marina we used to keep our boat at. And then you see street signs, and I know the streets. Oh, yeah, that will work. But the way I do it is faster than that. Jean, yeah, I'll show you. So if you get the chance to watch Chesapeake Shores, give it a whirl. It's There's um, four seasons on this. Um, it's called Soap, Soap Today, and the two is a number. If you stream, if you don't stream, it's not on Netflix, I've looked. So you'll, you'll see the marina, we used to keep our boat. So the season, the first season that they shoot, every time they pan the marina, I check to see if our boat was there. because we hadn't sold it yet at that point, but they always stop before they get to the dock where our boat is, was. Okay, so we have our layers, and I still haven't attached this because I'm still wanting to see if maybe we want to put some twine around the bottom of it. So this goes on next. Let's put some Tombow dots on it. Little tiny, tiny, tiny dot. Oops, that's not a tiny dot. Yeah, would have been better to use the adhesive sheet, but you know, I didn't. And it's too late to put it on once they're cut out. It's going to have stuff on top of it anyway, so don't have to worry about it. And you know what we could do? Because it's got stuff oh no, on top of it, you could probably put some um, double-sided tape or snail or something underneath it. Okay, now let's just leave that to sit. Chesapeake Bay is about a family that lives in a place called, uh, sorry, Chesapeake Shores, in a place called Chesapeake Shores. And it's a seaside community supposedly down in um, I don't know where it is, like Maryland or somewhere in the eastern seaboard of the northeastern seaboard of the United, United States. And it's all the, there's one, two, three, four, five siblings, a mother and father, and the, the mother live, lives early in their lives. So she's not there for while they grow up, but the grandma moves in. Well, look at that. It's at the same angle that my net's going to be at. <laughs> and it's all the, the lives of them and the interrelationships. And I, I'm just really enjoying it. Okay, so I think he's going to be up on dimensionals. I was looking to see if maybe they had a, a list of who stars in it. Because every once in a while I see somebody I know. But then, you know, it know the face don't know the name yes Val you could sponge um, glue on the back definitely could do that I'm just putting little pieces of dimensional on here now I was just checking to see where it was going to go. Because I want to make sure that the pieces that are hanging over get dimensional so they don't get ripped off. 
or caught on something. Oops, that one's too long. Stop. Just gonna cut some of it off. There we are. We'll just put that one right there. Okay. So now he's gonna get popped up. She. She. Let's call it a she. You can. Okay. Something right about there. This is going to go straight like that. And then we have two of these that are kind of overlapped a bit. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Tombow on the back of one side of the one that's going to be on the top so that we can layer them together. There we are. Maybe maybe that octopus should not have been popped up. And then that's going to slide and back underneath there like that. And then this is going to go here on the top. There we are. Okay, turn this a bit. Oh, stuck. Or as my grandchildren say, gerstucken. There. How's that? What do you think? I'm wondering if we need a little bow there. Let me get my, my twine. Also known as linen thread. Oh, good. So it's on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I, I don't have that either. I try not to pay for stuff. I'm cheap. I'd rather spend my money on rubber stamps. But having said that, I I have invested in the new the paid for version of Zoom cuz it makes makes some um, it a lot easier when you don't have to keep an eye on the clock. As with the free version, you only get 40 minutes. With the paid version, it's unlimited. So when I'm doing my classes online, I don't have to watch what the clock is doing. Because sometimes you can, you know, and you guys know very well, I get nattering and sometimes it just doesn't stop. Okay, so I'm just, I'm tying in a knot right there. Yes, I'm tying a knot. Thank you. I have something sticky on my finger. I'll tie my bow. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, so when you're making your bow smaller like this, just put your finger over top of it because then it, um, it won't twirl on you and twist and get all funny looking. There we are. Now, did you know that on this stuff, at least it used to work, if you take your bone folder and twirl it, see? If it's going in the wrong direction, you can train it not to go in that direction. Okay, so there we are. There's the twine on there. We'll go back. Put the That one's being annoying. Needs to be over a bit. And this needs to be up on dimensionals. Where is that? Chunk of dimensional. So that it goes the um the twine will go underneath it.
Okay, this is driving me crazy because it keeps getting in my way. Stay there. Might have to put a glue dot underneath there. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so getting back to our project. It's, there's that. This pokes in under here. That goes there, and then this is going to be on there. Yep, I think. Not twine? You don't want the twine? I like the twine. Okay, if you were going to make this a masculine card, yes, I agree, not the twine. But I'm making this because I have a birthday in May, and the person, the female that I'm giving it to, likes octopus. Octopi? Octopuses? Okay, so now we can put this, now we know where everything is going. <laughs> I'm still fighting with it. Stupid thing. Okay, I'm going to let it go. Oh, what I didn't check was to make sure that it's on there straight. I'll put my adhesive right over the top of it so it holds it in place. There we are. So how's everybody doing? Use the edge of your scissors. Yeah, that would work too. So how's everybody doing with the um, isolation having to stay home thing? That's still working for you? Have you been having lots of crafty time? Don't We won't talk about our hair. I'm just glad I didn't have my nails done. Because then I would be figuring out a way to get those fake ones off. Because right about now it would be starting to look really not so good. But the hair? Yeah. I'm going to have to apologize to my hairdresser when this is all over. I did try to cut it a bit because it was hanging in my eyes. Okay. Put this on here. Nice and straight, we hope. But you're right, Maria. For a masculine card, I wouldn't put the ribbon, the twine on there. Hey, I need my ribbon scissors. Maybe if I cut that off a bit, it won't be quite so annoying. Here we go, Val. Oh, look, it, it turned it into shredding. That might be cool, too. Okay, focus, mullet. Focus, focus. You know how these things pop into my head? Sometimes they're good things and sometimes not so much. Just taking the backings off the dimensionals here so I can stick our octopus on. Now the blue one. Stay at home person anyways. Pile of happy mail. Yeah, well yesterday was mail at Monday, right? And I have a a whole stack that's about four inches tall of stuff I need to mail out and then I added to it again this morning and so because yesterday was a holiday I didn't get out there and do my chores. My sh weekly shopping is done on Mondays and then I go to the post office and I'm just pulling this um, dimensional up because it was in my way. I um, go to the post office and do my mailings and go pick up any supplies that hubby needs because 
I'm not letting him go to the to the stores right now because of his respiratory issues. So I didn't go yesterday because it was a holiday. So I have a lot of stuff that needs to be mailed. So I'm going to go and hit up the post office today, which should be interesting to see how long that lineup is. Okay, so now we have to decide which way it is. Oh, definitely that way. Put a dimensional down there like that. Now I'm going to take off the, the liners off of the tear and tape I've got on there. And that tear and tape is holding the center of the sand dollar in. Now we'll just put the sand dollar right there like that. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Now we do have some tall seagrass that we could, but I don't think it needs it, do you? Okay, inside piece. That orientation. <laughs> yeah, fun to do stuff around the house. I know. I'm just thankful that all that cleaning is out of my way and I don't have to clean for a while. Well, the, the heavy duty stuff anyways. We still have one wall that we need to wash because every time the sunlight hits it, I cringe. So this is another image from the same stamp set. And I'm just kind of doing it in various strengths of Knight of Navy for the inside. And I'm going to do the same thing on the envelope. Boy, our houses are going to be so clean by the time this COVID is lets us go back outside. Okay. Sponge on the inside? Yes, yes. I know. Sponge and me. I don't know what's happening to me with all this sponging. But I think it needs it because of that. This that's happening around there, I think it would be kind of cool. So we'll just do some sponging on the inside. Doesn't take too long. There we are. Done like dinner. So for the on the on Easter Sunday, we decided that we were going to go and visit our local children, child, his wife, and his two kids. So we did a social distancing weenie roast type thing, but didn't eat weenie. Well, we decided we were having. A weenie roast for lunch and then we stayed and had dinner too and we my hubby and I sat and tended the fire well they did a bunch of stuff around their yard there was lawn cutting and rototilling and they built a they have a slope spot that they needed to build a ramp so they could get down to their compost pile with the lawn tractors so they were all running around doing that and the young, the middle one, their youngest one, was so excited because he was finally old enough to start the push lawnmower himself, and so he had to show us how he could mow the lawn. And it was awesome. We were we maintained our six to ten feet apart the whole time. Didn't get to hug the grandchildren, but you know what we did? 
we um, we stood on one leg and bumped our feet. That was our hug. <laughs> Called the COVID hug. Ah! It was nice being able to spend time with them again. They got their work done that they needed to get done and we got to sit by a fire and have a weenie roast and it was fun. So there's the card, ladies. What do you think? Do you think she's going to be happy? Uh-oh. Looking for my hand sanitizer. What did I do with it? I'll be right back. So I want to show you how to clean your blocks. Now I did mine not too long ago. So the only, if you have bits of adhesive on them, you might have to use some Goo Gone to get the adhesive off because this doesn't take that off, but it takes off any film that's on it. So that's just a bit of hand sanitizer. It doesn't matter what kind, what flavor. And you could probably use rubbing alcohol too. I know these are two of the things that are in short supply right now in the world, but we're all using hand sanitizer, so we should all have it around. Then you just wipe it off. And look at this. Look, that looked clean before I started. See? Then you just flip it over and do the other side. Takes no time at all to dry. Not quite enough on there. And this even takes off the greases and oils and stuff that it picks up off of your hands. There you go. So look. Look at how dirty those were, and they looked perfectly clean. And that's it. That's how hard it is to clean your blocks. A little bit of hand sanitizer and a piece of um, paper towel, and away you go. If you have stays on or Versamark on your blocks, clean them first with um, the stays on cleaner, and then use the um, hand sanitizer. It gets rid of everything. Not bad. So, there's our time. Oh, you're very welcome, Jean. You know, I'm a wealth of useless information. Thanks for making this card with me today. Today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Let me get my calendar. I don't think... I don't think I have anything planned tomorrow. Nope, nothing planned. I might be live because I wasn't live yesterday. So maybe we'll do one, but I'll definitely be here Thursday and Friday. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Oh, it's going to show you the. So if you're looking for this stamp set, it's on page 153 of the annual catalog. And don't forget the retiring list comes out on the 22nd. So if you want any of the outgoing um, in colors, I'm just getting the hair for you. Okay, so the outgoing in colors are Call Me Clover, Blueberry Bushel, Pineapple Punch, Grapefruit Grove, and Lovely Lipstick. So they'll be gone completely as of the end of May. So the ink pads, the re-inkers, cardstock, any design, all, well, all of our designer papers are typically retired anyways at the end of each catalog. Um, but um, any ribbons or other embellishments that have those colors in them will also disappear. So if there's, if you have, especially if you've purchased the pads and didn't get the re-inkers at the same time, 
please order them bef well before the 22nd because once the 20 that retiring list goes out and the 22nd arrives um, they go on to uh, while supplies last order basis and typically the in color stuff is the first stuff that sells out and I would hate it if you were wanting to get the well if you have the ink pads and you need you need the reinkers you should just order them when you order the ink pads but if you haven't then you need to order them before the 22nd is what I'm trying to say um, and I have an ordering special happening on the 4th of May so don't forget that it starts at 12.01 a.m. on the 4th of May goes to 11.59 p.m. Anybody who places an order of, what did I say it was? Let me check the amount. An order of $60 or more, I will give you free shipping. So if you order online, there's a special uh, birthday special, there's a special host code for my birthday special. You have to use that house code if you're ordering online, unless your order's over 200, of course. And anybody who does that, I will refund you the shipping. If you send your order to me and I send it in with the group order, I'll just take it off of the top before I place the order. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's smart, Jean. I always order the reinkers when I order the, the pads because I don't want to get caught. I did one year and that was not a pleasant thing. All right, ladies, thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day. I hope you stay healthy, happy, and crafty. Stamp and smiles and bye for now. We'll see you either tomorrow or definitely Thursday. Bye-bye.